Mr. Gadget. The Curse of the Pharaoh. Inspector Gadget, Penny, and Brain are driving down a road in the Egyptian desert. Egypt is a fascinating place, Uncle Gadget. Did Chief Quimby tell you why he wanted you to come here? No, Penny, we haven't discussed details yet. But I thought it would be very educational for you to come with me. Pharaoh Pudotut's treasures go on exhibit tomorrow. And you'll be one of the first to see the most spectacular collection ever uncovered from the sands of Egypt. Oh, I can hardly wait, Uncle Gadget. Somewhere just ahead, Dr. Claw and Mad Cat sit waiting in the Madmobile. Dr. Claw touches a button, and a mad agent disguised as a Bedouin appears on a monitor. I want you to give Gadget a quick lesson in desert survival. But make sure he doesn't pass the test. Whatever you say, Dr. Claw. Back on the desert road, the Bedouin mad agent appears in front of the Gadget Mobile and gallops his camel straight towards it. Yeah. Uncle Gadget, look! Don't worry, Penny, it's just a desert nomad. No doubt coming to sell us handicrafts. The Bedouin pulls out a bullwhip and lashes out at the Gadget Mobile. Inspector Gadget still doesn't catch on. No, thank you. We're not interested in any souvenirs. This guy's just a little too pushy. Gadget suddenly transforms the van he is driving into a speedy car. Soon he has left the Bedouin far behind. Penny sees more danger ahead. Uncle Gadget! A cliff! Don't be silly, Penny. There are no cliffs in the desert. It's just a mirage! And as he speaks, the car shoots over the cliff and into midair. Two mad agents have removed the sign that read, Danger, Dead End. As the car falls, Gadget reconsiders. Maybe it wasn't a mirage. Realizing he needs some help, Gadget calls upon his Gadget parachute, which pops out and gently floats the car to the ground, right in the middle of a resort hotel. The top-secret Gadget phone rings. Uh-huh. Is that you, Chief? Right here. Where? Right away, Chief. Penny, Gadget, and Brain step out of the car and over to a table. In the center is a silver dish cover. Gadget lifts the cover to reveal Chief Quimby's head, surrounded by lettuce leaves. Chief! Glad to see you made it, Gadget. Here's your assignment. Gadget takes a note from Quimby. Dr. Claw planning to steal the treasures of Pharaoh Putatut. Must guard artifacts, especially sarcophagus. This message will self-destruct in 30 seconds. You can count on me, Chief. Inspector Gadget is always on duty. Be careful, Gadget. Remember Pharaoh Putatut's curse. Nonsense, Chief. A 4,000-year-old curse is just superstitious rubbish. Dr. Claw and Mad Cat don't think so. Well, Gadget, you managed to evade my desert traps, but I promise you, you won't survive the curse of Putatut. Will he, Mad in the middle of the desert stands the pyramid of Pharaoh Putatut. Inside the main burial chamber, we see Gadget, Penny, and Brain standing among the great treasures. The Pharaoh's throne and sarcophagus stand at the center of the room. The stone casket gleams with gold and precious jewels. Gee, Uncle Gadget, wait till I tell the kids at school about this. Oh, I've never seen anything so rich. Yes, Penny, that Poodle Tooth must have been quite a guy. A little flamboyant, but that's politics. As Gadget settles down to guard the treasures of Poodle Tooth, Penny pulls Brain behind a column. Something is bothering her. I don't know what it is, Brain, but there's something strange about this place. You stay here and watch Uncle Gadget. I'm going to have a look around. Gadget seats himself on the pharaoh's throne and prepares for a long night ahead. Gadget hears the sound and pats his stomach. I knew I shouldn't have skipped lunch. I wonder if there's a sandwich machine around here somewhere. From the sounds of it, I must have skipped breakfast, too. Now, let's see what Penny is up to. Using her computer book, 
She is checking the walls of the pyramid. Following the light on the computer screen, she presses a stone and the wall before her swings open. A secret passage? Golly, my computer book is picking up some kind of strange signal. I don't know what's in there, but there's one way to find out. Inspector Gadget is wandering around looking for something to eat. He's obviously lost in the maze of tunnels. Brain, where's Uncle Gadget? Brain tries to get across his message to Pella, who finally understands. Uncle Gadget and the sarcophagus have disappeared? Brain nods frantically. Impossible. Things just don't disappear. You find Uncle Gadget and don't let him know you're following him. Then I'll try to track down the sarcophagus. Penny moves slowly along the dark hallway. She hears sounds approaching, so she hides and watches. Two men wearing dog masks and dressed to look just like the statues of slaves in Pharaoh's tomb come into view. They are carrying the heavy stone sarcophagus of Pharaoh Pututut. Penny can hardly believe her eyes. I got the heavier end. Let's switch. Forget it. We flipped. I got heads. You got tails. Let's go. They must be mad agents. Chief Quibby was right. They're stealing the Pharaoh's treasure. Dr. Claw has been following Gadget on his monitor. This maze was created long ago by Poodatoot to trap intruders who came to steal his treasure. But now it will allow us to escape and to put an end to your meddling forever. Claw pulls a brass ring hanging on the wall beside him. Gadget hears a noise moving toward him from the blackness of the corridor. He can see nothing. Then a room-sized stone block slides out of the shadows right towards him. Go, go, Gadget, legs! Immediately, Gadget's legs turn into large coiled springs. He pogo sticks ahead. As he turns to see if the block is gaining on him, Gadget doesn't see the flight of steps ahead of him. He falls head first, but his Gadget arms extend just in time to prevent him from hitting the floor. As the block picks up speed, Gadget calls for his Gadget skates to pop out of his shoes. The block is gaining! I'd better lose that block! Gadget throws his Gadget arm around the column and swings out of the main passageway into a side hallway. The block passes him completely. Well, that was easy! Dr. Claw has been watching Gadget's escape. He is furious. He speaks to his mad agent. What are you fools doing? Good boss. There was this little... Not now. Get him loose. Get him. Meanwhile, Penny has found Puta Toot's sarcophagus. The mad agents are nowhere to be seen. She speaks into her communicator watch. Okay, Brain. This is it. Get Uncle Gadget down here on the devil. Do you read me? I'm going to try and track down Dr. Claw. <laughs> Suddenly, a firm hand falls on Penny's shoulder. A mad agent grabs her. He's about to tie her up when Brain appears wrapped as a mummy. The mad agent panics and is gone in an instant. Penny quickly ducks behind a pillar. Brain has just enough time to hide in a large clay jar before other mad agents enter. Penny whispers to Brain. Brain, stay where you are. I've got a plan. Turn your caller receiver up all the way and plug your ear. Penny's electronically changed voice is transmitted from her communicator to the receiver in Brain's collar. It echoes out through the clay jar. The mad agents are frozen in their tracks. This is on any who dare to remove me from my rightful place of rest. Return me and be spared. The terrified mad agents rush to return the sarcophagus to the burial chamber. Dr. Claw observes them. He cannot believe his eyes. What are you doing? You mean the curse of Gadget? Just then, Gadget leaps out from behind the statue. Stop! You're under arrest! 
As the prisoners are led away, Chief Quimby appears on the scene to congratulate Inspector Gadget. Gadget, you've done it again. Penny and Brain Gadget. Good morning, Uncle Gadget. What was it like spending the night here? To tell you the truth, Penny, boring. I spent all night looking for a snack machine, and I just realized I don't have any change.